Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to Timberborn Update 2, which adds in golems, gravity batteries, and a whole slew of other things. But today we're going to be focusing on the gravity batteries, because they are the most ridiculous idea ever. In fact, I've seen this idea proposed in real life, wherein how it would work is when the power supply has excess power, it'll lift a brick up this tower, and then when the grid needs power, It'll drop the brick off, and the momentum of the brick going down will power a turbine. And you might be like, hey, that's a pretty cool idea. I could see that working. Except you could just do the same thing with water. And it'd be a million times cheaper and easier, so I don't know why they'd do this. But now that we have this technology in Timberborn Update 2, well, I have to make this project now, right? So that's going to be our goal today. So if you enjoy, remember to leave a like, and remember to check out the game on Steam using the first link in the description. Though admittedly, we're a little ways out from making a massive battery tower. Last time, we just got started with the, like, the most basic industry, figuring out our food and lumber situation, and barely surviving a couple droughts. However, we did make a bunch of water wheels here, and managed to turn on this. It's essentially a beaver super computer called the Number Cruncher, that's making us all the science in the world. In fact, we have like 10,000 science already. And the science is used to unlock anything and everything we want. Like the gravity battery itself. So let's just get that on deck. And I guess we'll unlock things as we go. But just looking at this, yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. It's like a bin full of rocks that will just be pulled up when there's excess energy and let down when we need the energy back. And more importantly, the higher it is built, the more energy it can store. So you really do have to make like a super massive tower. And if we're going to put a super massive tower anywhere, it's definitely going to be on this island. So let's just head on over, brother. Let's get a bridge built and scoot. So it should be built pretty quickly. If we can survive the drought that's happening in three days. We'll have to see on that, I guess. In the meantime, just want to build as much as we can. We got to get more power, because this thing takes up 500 horsepower. And our water wheels, although they make a lot of power, eh, we're kind of dipping near the edge here. So we'll throw down a bunch of levees. Get some platforms built in between. Build another giant water wheel right next door here. That'll generate us tons of power. Ooh, and then I want to do the same thing on this side of the river, but we're going to have to move things around just a little bit. Ah, yes. But the droughts. The droughts. You see, in this game, droughts happen every so often, and that means the water stops flowing. And all of the life from the world drains away. Except if you have little pools of water that you protect with your life using dams. Well, I'm kidding. I actually don't protect any of this water. There's fortunately just a nice little pool here with some of it draining out over this way. We'll fix all this and we'll secure all the water in the future, but right now, kind of living on the edge. And well, admittedly, it could have gone better. All of our crops failed. We ran out of almost all of our water, but we have survived. The drought is over, and we have 45 units of water left. Food-wise, we were actually fine, and all of this water actually stayed here. So, it could have been worse. We definitely need a couple more dams, though. Water? Where are you at? Water? Sippy drink. There we go. Now we can also see our new water wheels in action. So how good are... Wow, that's pretty good. And now we're at like 2,000 horsepower. While I was wading through the drought here, I built new homes for all the beavers in the center of our civilization. So now we have these large barracks where all the beavers will sleep. And right next door is a large warehouse for food. So it's all nice and centralized. Okay, lots of stuff we have to do. Like get water under control. And also, almost as important, we need dynamite. We need it. I must have it. This lets us blow up the earth and make our own rivers. And then, of course, we need the factory to build the TNT. Now that we have all the power in the world, that's not going to be a problem. And then to actually make the TNT, we need paper. So we'll get a paper mill as well. I suppose we can just have those there and there. 
and then the TNT thing right next door. Only other thing is we have to bring the power around. So we have a main line that just goes through the entire city, and we'll just bring it on over. And materials-wise, we're still looking good, so we could start work on another project as well. We need to make a giant floodgate. We need to stop the water from escaping during the droughts. So over here, we're gonna connect this up. So we have a nice like locked in area and we're gonna start building actual floodgates. So there's a bunch of stuff here. There's like dams, levees, and floodgates that you can control. So we want these guys. So we'll let those projects kind of rock and roll and do their thing and also prepare this island for production. Just getting the trees out of the way and soon we can start building. But all oh, that silly survival stuff first, right? Good thing is, Floodgate was built pretty quick. They're pretty cheap to build. So now whenever there's a big thing happening, boop, no, nope, retain the sippy drink. But for now, we just gotta let it rip. So the water wheels spin. Oh, and so stuff doesn't get flooded. Mmm, that's not good. Mmm, maybe we should make some extra floodgates over here too. And then, I guess it is about that time start setting this up. This is gonna be the last floodgate we make and it will secure all of this water for us. And we have a drought now in less than a day, so good timing. But now whenever the drought happens, we go to each of the gates and we just gotta be like, no. Then around the rest of the world, progress is being made very, very slowly. We got one paper thing going, which is cool, but the rest of the stuff still needs to be worked on. Or like out of materials, whoops. So that kind of sucks. Then again, we've been building a lot. We built that dam up here as well and I made the floodgate. So what are you gonna do? Make bread, of course. That's what we're gonna do. Kept on building up in our main city, just adding in more storage wherever I could and then also making some grist mills. It turns wheat into flour and then we have a bakery to turn the flour into bread. As our population has grown, the carrots grow thin. And we definitely need some like bread or some better food source. So this is all becoming like Breadlandia. And probably later on we'll convert all this into bread making too. For now, we wait for the timer and we lock the gates. Okay, every floodgate. Close it, retain the water, this whole thing, shut it down. We lose all of our power, but hey, sometimes we need to survive. And you as well. We're good. Okay, that's awesome. Now we have this entire lake secure for the entire drought. Well, we might lose like this first layer, but the deeper water will be fine. And I'm even confident enough to leave our water extractors going. Like this is a ton of water. We're, we're gonna be fine. Ooh, we're gonna be better than fine. The TNT explosives factory is done. Oh boy. That means we can finally do the thing. The thing I've been waiting this entire playthrough to do. There are these two stupid blocks right here that I've wanted to destroy forever. And now we can. <laughs> oh, that makes me so happy. Now we can actually add in this other water wheel right here. I wanted to do that forever. Everything is good in the world, except no. Completely wrong. What the heck is going on? Injuries. Why do we have so many injuries? Wait, we just happened to build the TNT factory and everybody's getting injuries. Am I putting one and one together? Nah, probably not. Uh, let's, I guess, deal with that. I suppose it's important. And we deal with that by making little medical bays. It's like a new feature in the game nowadays where you have to make a medical bed for them to heal. So we'll build a couple down there, and later on, we'll be building a healer, which makes people heal in the beds faster. And you know, if we have the medical beds there, it seems to me it would make sense to have the medical station like right here. And what do we do with the rest of the platform though? Well, we're definitely gonna need more of these. We're gonna need storage for the medicine, and we need dandelions to make medicine. So then we'll have a big storage house right next door and figure out everything else later. Well, that gets dealt with. There's another thing I've wanted to do with TNT. I wanted to rework this area up here. 
I want to blow this whole thing up. It needs to go. I guess. Get your rest now. There's about to be a huge explosion. And wake up time. <laughs> Man, I love blowing stuff up. Wait, that didn't blow up. Can we just destroy that? Yes? Oh, I've never done that in the game before. Okay. But now that this area is cleared, we can move on to phase two here. Creating the pit. That will eventually let the water flood in from over here, get stored in this pit, and turn this area into a nice little farming zone. Where I guess we could grow more trees. This makes our life much more convenient. And once the pit is sufficiently deep, we can build some platforms on top and get our equipment set up. Done. I'll tinker with that for a bit, but first, more explosions. Goodbye. Because now it is time to get to work on our great gravity battery. And remember, we have to make the gravity batteries as high up as possible. So we're making a giant tower. We'll just kind of build it on this corner of the island so it stands out all nice and pretty. You just have to do this weird L-shaped pattern to build the staircase straight up and not waste any space. So you just place like the three like so, and you place the staircases there. Do the same thing on the other side, and then you add in all the paths, and you can go as high as you want from here. Maybe something like that high. Yeah, we want like a figure piece or a centerpiece for our city, right? So that would be pretty good. Or maybe you should measure it against how we're bringing the power up there. So buildings transfer power, including houses. So how I'm gonna bring like a power line all the way to the top of this is I'm just gonna have these large row houses built here. We'll figure out how to connect them up in a second. And then, yeah, you kind of can see what height we should get to. Just go like that. And there we go. Great, so we have a nice cool tower ready for a gravity battery. And it's like a two by two thing. Part of it being left off the side. Well, we need to have one battery at least on top of all these houses, just so the power from downstairs reaches upstairs. And then it's all just about making as many batteries on this tower as we can while keeping it looking good. And you know, we're just messing with multiples of two, so it's nothing too crazy. And we have these all in a circle. That is pretty much the design. So look good, look cool, nice centerpiece. Yeah, I would say so. All right, <laughs> well, that's gonna take 30,000 years to build. So we'll let that rip. In fact, maybe even just make it a low priority thing. And I'll mess around with other kind of random projects like this farm one over here. Oh, actually, speaking of cool projects, we need like a monument. Every beaver colony needs a giant monument. A, because it provides the beaver's bonuses, and B, it looks cool. Uh, let's build a flame of progress. Yes, right up here. And it gives all the beavers like an awe boost, so they work better and faster. And then for the rest of the roofs, we don't want this area getting too much more tall, so I'll be nice, and I'll make them some rooftop terraces. This one there, there, and Probably one on top of here. And then, hey, who knows? By the time our battery tower is done, maybe this will be done around the same time. And well, the timing was almost perfect. We're still building the main statue and we're still building the tower here, except it is online. So the staircase is finally built and we have a couple of these gravity batteries already made. So the power works just fine. And we're in a drought, so technically they're running. So this one has 28,000 HPH. I don't know what that really means, but <laughs> here's what you can do when you invent your own laws of physics. <laughs> That's so perfect considering we're trying to recreate that tower. Uh, anyway, I'm not, I don't know what HPH means, but you can see since the power grid is drawing or trying to draw a lot of power, these bins should start moving down. Oh yeah, if I go up to three speed? Oh yeah, that's pretty quick. I think these batteries are only gonna last maybe two days. It might be a bit better once we have all of them done, but oh yeah, that thing is flying down. Flying. Can we turn anything off? Yes. Our number cruncher? 
we can turn that off. We have 18,000 science, pretty much. Yeah. I can relax for a bit. Ease off the system. Let the battery last a little bit longer, but it's still going down there. Okay. But it's so cool. What an excellent feature for our world. Beautiful little centerpiece. I wish we could put, like, facade walls on front or something like that so we could have, like, a design. But then again, once we have all of the bins built, it's gonna look amazing. Ooh, same with when our statue's done, too. And you better believe it does. This is such a cool-looking city. It's like a mega dam just crossing over between here. Except most of the water just flows through. Also got another monument right here, too. Ah, oh, that is just, just like the coolest thing, man. Love it. But our great tower, I have to say, is a much better centerpiece. And it should be gaining its power back, yes? Slowly. Where's all of the power? Oh no, it's coming back. We might have just been in a drought. Not sure. I've been trying to mess around with flow rates a lot and building these extra dams to try and force all of the water through this way, but it's been met with little success. And I can mess with it a little later. The big thing is, we have completed our insanity project and it's actually kind of working out for us. So if you ignore physics and practical measures, maybe this isn't such a bad idea after all. JK, no, it's a terrible idea. But anyway, that's gonna be all for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and bye-bye.